Libra, we're going to look at some energies here for you for the month of uh, February regarding love and relationships, uh, 2023. Uh, to all the Libras who celebrate uh, Valentine's Day, happy Valentine's Day to you all. So I'm using the uh, Victorian Romantic Tarot deck to uh, deliver your messages here. No reversals. And then also throwing some cards here from the uh, Lips Don't Lie uh, Oracle deck. So without further ado, let's see what the energy is potentially coming up for you. Focusing only on love and relationships for you, Libra. And, um, yeah, don't shoot the messenger. <laughs> it's just me interpreting the cards. All right, energies for Libra. Let's see what's going on here for Libra. three let's do one more just in case all right Libra we're going to open up the energy uh, for February with the very first card and we're going to start with uh, what do we have here we have the two of cups I'm not reading reversals here two of cups and that's the relationships we're talking about right so you could be the Libra who is already engaged in a, a partnership and if so you are seeing eye to eye with one another being on the same page with one another uh, like-mindedness the Two of Cups represents an evenness, so the energy that you give to your partner is the energy that you're going to be getting back. This also, too, is first dates and first invitations out. This could be um, new partnerships that are formed for those single Libras. It's a possibility, all right, for single Libras to connect with someone new. They don't have to be water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, but they can be. So we have the Two of Cups. Following that, we have the Queen. There you are. You're attracting somebody. And she's looking right here at the Two of Cups. This is the card of attraction, strong attraction, intensity, passion, uh, sexual energy, sexual expression. So all of that energy could be taking place uh, regarding Valentine's Day. Voila. Okay. It is a court card. So again, coming after the Two of Cups, new relationships. This doesn't have to be a fire sign as well, but there could be an interest or someone who is dealing or in a relationship with a fire sign. Queen of Wands is always focused on something or someone. In this case, it's someone. Okay, so she's coming after you. He or she is coming after you. All right, following the Queen of Wands here, we have the Seven of uh, Swords, so your own energy. Someone from your past, Libra. Uh, they may, you know, try to reach out to you in the month of February. They present nothing more than, um, challenge, you know, nothing more than but challenges or more challenges, I should say. Always add that they never bring anything new or add to the ta table or the plate, okay? They have not resolved whatever issues that they had going on with them if you had a connection with them. This is why they're the ex now, okay? So this person here could be strongly thinking about you and um, wanting to reconnect in the month of February. Use your discernment, your best judgment. Go with your intuition. But note that I'm telling you here that this person here is still going to present more challenges for you. So just say, let's just say if you, okay, agree to start talking to them again, start dating them again, whatever you dealt with when you were with them and you thought it was challenges uh, going on then, you're going to get more of the same. Okay. So you heard it here first. Following the seven of swords here is the eight of pentacles. And this is the balanced type of energy. You can use that energy, um, you know, tag it to your relationship. She's sitting up here leaning up against the wall, looking at her lover, husband, boyfriend, whoever he is, doing some pottery work. Always get some form of contentment here, okay? Uh, Eight of Pentacles also represents options. So again, for the singles, options may open up for you, but feeling balanced, okay? Everything um, in your relationship uh, is being taken care of, either by, um, well, both parties taking a, you know, Part in taking care of each other. Singles could be just, you know, feeling balanced and uh, building up some sort of resources, wanting to share that energy with someone new. Okay, that's the Eight of Pentacles. Up next, we have the Five of Pentacles. Okay, that's the ghosting. So you could be ghosting someone. Someone could be ghosting you in terms of a relationship, um, acting cold or stubborn. 
Um, feeling left out in the cold, yes. The stubbornness could be a thought process, you know, not willing to budge or change any movements regarding a relationship, whether you're in a relationship or not. It's temporary energy here, however, so I wouldn't worry about it too much. So five of pentacles here. Following that, we have the uh, high priestess. The high priestess is always about secrets being kept or shielded. And um, there's likes and crushes underneath the two of cups. Underneath the two of cups. Someone definitely could be liking you or crushing you, or you could be doing that to them. Billowing smoke is always something mysterious about a person. This is a relationship card. Opposites do attract. Okay. So if you're in a relationship with someone that, you know, they have some sort of substantial difference um, between you, you know, age, race, religion, um, could be language, could be living from a different city, state, town, or country. Now, we should happen to get the Seven of Cups or the Full Moon, then there's a revelation of someone coming forward here in terms of um, expressing their energies towards you, or you could be doing that to them, okay? But again, pay attention to your intuition here. Always go by um, the guidance that is offered to you, you know, what you get in your gut and what you hear in your, uh, your ears or your head. Because those are your own spiritual energies trying to alert and grab your attention so that you're always making the right choices and decisions for yourself moving forward. Following the uh, high priestess and also to pay attention to all the major arcanas that do show up in your spread, they carry a lot of weight. Now we have the Knight of uh, Swords. This is you again. Okay, taking action, making moves. Look at that. Underneath the Queen of uh, Wands, that could be new connections. Something regarding your uh, relationship here. Um... Not quite the revelation because it follows the high priestess in terms of someone who may like you, uh, but you can use that energy if you want to, you know, but I always wait for the seven of cups or the, um, the moon to represent. But following this high priestess, this could be the person that is liking you or crushing you. Okay. But you're taking action or making some sort of moves here using your logical mind as opposed to your emotional heart when it comes to those situations involving a relationship, whether you're single or in a current relationship, you're taking action against or for something. Following that, we have the uh, five of, yeah, the five of swords here now, five of swords. And I like when the elements show up for the sign that I'm reading for. So we have the five of swords, the seven of swords and the knight of swords. So in this case here, the five of swords is having to uh, deal with some sort of inner conflict on, you know, not necessarily unresolved conflict, but you attach that conflict to your relationships. It may have something to do with the Seven of Swords in terms of somebody that you already dealt with, Libra, an ex who may be trying to come back and present more challenges for you. Um, so think about that. And then also, too, in the past, I've been speaking about the three characters here. This reminds me of the Three of Swords. So there's interference could be. This could be you, the single Libra, and this is a you possibly trying to interfere with someone else who is already attached. But in fairness to you, this is your reading. So this could be you already in a partnership and this is somebody else that's coming along here trying to interfere with your shit. So however this energy opens up, it's just like that Five of Pentacles. It's not going to stay around too long. Following the um, Five of Swords, now we have the Hierophant. So somebody could be getting married. Of course, Valentine's Day, right? So I've been saying that somebody could, um, I guess Vegas is still popular, that people get married in Las Vegas. So somebody could be doing that, but someone can still be getting married and doesn't necessarily have to be in Vegas. Spiritually watched over, spiritually protected, as well as guided. This is a teaching and learning card. So learning and teaching others, you're, you know, learning from others and uh, being taught by others. This is also too... Um, where you could experience some sort of spiritual divineness, uh, whether you're single or not, when it comes to the relationship, epiphanies may be taking place. Final card here for you, uh, Libra. Now we have the Four of uh, Swords. Yep, we finish off with the Four of Swords. Four of Swords is indicative of rest, relaxation, rejuvenation. Actually taking a break from a relationship uh, temporarily. It mirrors, cross mirrors the Two of Cups, partnerships. So doing something exclusively on your own, um, you know, recapturing your happiness, your uh, independence, 
This is also planning trips, but we don't have any of the rolling cards just yet. But breaking yourself free from codependency from the relationship, depending on that relationship much too much, becoming too enmeshed with the relationship, always maintain your independence here. Okay. Um, if you are the Libra that's currently in a relationship, but also too for the single specifically, continue to work on your independence and your freedom. It's important because once you connect with a new relationship or get yourself involved in a relationship and mesh with that person, we sort of lose sight of ourself. Okay. But you always want to maintain yourself involved in a relationship because when problems arise, you'll be able to handle them so much better. Trust me when I tell you that. Okay, so that's the Four of Swords here. In the shadow is the Knight of Wands, immediate, intermediate attraction. Okay, so it could be already Libras who are already involved in relationships, enjoying each other's company. But the Knight of Wands could be indicative of how rapid a new connection could take place for the single Libras. That's the energy, that's the speed. This is still regarded like the Queen of Wands as sexual energy, sexual expression, passion, and intensity. Seven of Pentacles is the heart of options. So there's options again, like the Eight of Pentacles open to you if you are single and want to connect with a relationship, okay? The last card here is a beautiful card. It's the Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups is the yes answer to all romantic questions. It's the wish fulfillment card. And of course, it doesn't change because I'm just doing love um, readings for you in the month of February. It's still equated uh, with the energy of the star card. So, you know, hopes, wishes, and dreams becoming fulfilled and manifested. Whatever it is that you are wanting or desiring, we're talking about relationships. Maybe in the month of February, that energy will be realized for you. It's not an even number of cups, but still the energy that you give to others is what you're going to get back for sure. This is a card of blessings, the nine of cups. So you have the two of cups, the nine of cups. And overall, this is a, a pretty good energy here for you. Um, Potentially Libra for the month of February. There are some challenges here with the Seven of Swords. And that's just, you know, as I see it as people that you already dealt with, that you may have um, been in a relationship with, because like I said, it mirrors the uh, Two of Cups here. So that's partnerships. Somebody that you don't want to deal with no more because they haven't resolved their conflicting energies. All right, so let's see what the lips want to say and add to this. Then uh, I'll leave this open here for you, Libra. You can use this as uh, your intentions on how you feel, you know, towards your person, the current energy, or it could be the energy that's coming towards you, how they feel and their thoughts and feelings towards you. All right, so let's see what the lips want to say. And the first one here is reinvent. This one here says you are not the same person. You were when you had your first crush. You had many experiences, good and bad, and have emerged a more confident and aware person. Do things differently and let go of the old you. Okay. Next one up is flow. This one says allow events to flow naturally. Rushing things could create circumstances that will ruin the progress you've been making. What's meant to be will be. Be content with the natural flow. Third message for you is uh, melting. Your person feels like putty in your hand. Someone may be losing all sense of control around you. This may include stuttering, getting lost in your eyes, heartbeat racing, etc. You may also feel the same towards someone else as well. Okay. Shadow energy here for you is karmic vibes. This connection comes with a valuable lesson. You are being triggered to learn self-love. Okay. Self-love and respect. You are being pushed to move forward in your life. The key to this type of uh, connection is to pay attention and identify blind spots. Learn the lesson and get out of there. Now, this is somewhat similar to the energy of the Four of Swords, okay? When um, it mentions uh, self-love, being triggered to learn self-love. We are responsible for our own happiness. Self-love can be included. No one else could be held or accountable for our happiness or loving us. Only we are. So that's what I have for you this month, um, Libra. Okay. So just take what is necessary. Leave the rest alone. Um, please be safe in all that you do. Happy Valentine's Day once again. Be well. Keep smiling for me. And I'm going to talk to you real soon. Take care.